Hey guys, I'm leaving work. Woo, it's so cold. Bye work. All right guys, I am on a diet and I am losing weight. However, I got mom a treat and I got me this. Oh, it's a cannoli and I've never had one before. So comment and let me know if you like them because someone said it had cheese in there. I don't know, I just wanna try it. I just wanna show you guys um, <laughs> what mom normally does every day. Okay, it's 47 degrees. So I'm just pulling in home and look at this lady over here. She always has a fire going. She's a fire making woman. Where'd you get your hoodie? I got mom something. It is coldy. Wow, you got a nice fire going. I do have. Um, hold this. All of that's yours. I got a cannoli. I didn't really care for it. But I got you your choppy. Yeah, and there's a surprise in there. <laughs> it's a secret super surprise. Oh, I see it. Oh. To be sad, ain't you? <laughs> I mean, you know. Yeah. All right. Huh? The little baby one? You think he's sleeping in the house I made him? Should I go look? You want to come with me? Come on. Come on. I rescued a baby possum the other day, so... I'll put a clip in here to show you guys. He was so cute. So me and mom feed the strays over here on this little block. There's stray cats, there's possums, there's all kinds of critters that come out here and eat. So that little baby possum, it was really oh, cold. All the chips are gone. Oh, he ate all the chips. He must have. I had made him like a little cave to keep him warm. So I'm curious if he's still using it. No? Okay. That's the little cave I made him. Okay, so this is the shenanigans. Camper living daily life. <laughs> I go to work, I get off work and look for possums. Oh, possums. All right, mom's gonna go in and I'm gonna go in. So in the winter, Mom and I use propane to heat our furnace or our campers with through the furnace. So we're going to make sure we're good. Mom's still learning like, oh yeah, you got plenty. So you're good. Let me go check mine. I can tell like by the weight now of how full it is. Okay, so... There's my regulator. So my propane is actually on this pigtail. So that one is actually out. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this bad baby going. My propane's out on this little one. So really? yeah. Oh, first things first. All right, so we're gonna close the valve. Okay, I'm gonna move the regulator Golly, it's like frozen. Over to this side, that pigtail, and then I'm gonna open up this here. It's so cold, like I can barely do anything with my hands. There we go. Okay. Then I have a full tank here. I try to stay prepared. We normally use soap water. I'm gonna make sure there's no leaks, but, oh, I don't smell anymore. I think we're good. Always just check your connection. Yeah, we're good. Right, so now I'm on this big tank here. I have an empty tank here and then mom's tank's over there. I'm probably gonna go fill this one up tomorrow just to have a backup. Um, right now to fill this tank up, this is a 100 pound tank. Um, the price just went from $55 to $65. That lasts me maybe a month or a month and a half if I'm running the heat like full blast all the time. 
Um, that tank there is 25 to fill up. That's a 30 pound. So the bigger you go, the cheaper it is. That doesn't really last too long if I'm running the heat full blast, but we'll be in winter a few months. So that's just a, an expense that we have. It's still not bad. All right, we're gonna go cook. Okay, how long have you been in your camper now? Since June. June? Yes. I'm June, in July, June. August, September, October. Five months. Yeah. Wow, almost half a year. Yeah. So what do you think about it? I love it. You do? Yes. You love your camper? Yes. Look at Emma's garden. So. It's nice and warm. Yeah, you got some good heat. Got everything I need. You like it being smaller? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm It's easier to keep clean. Yeah, and it's cozy. My cat loves it. Look at her. She is just. Well, there was a dog out here right oh. there. She got riled up. Oh, she thinks this is her property, huh? Yeah, I mean, the hair was standing all mm. the way up, all, all down her back. A lot of people ask if we own this property. We don't. Um, We actually rent where our space is from a local business owner here. It's pretty cheap. I'll do another video on expenses, but we we have like free range here. We can just do whatever we want. Yeah, we mom has, right mom's got that big field back here. Emma can run and do what she wants. We kind of have like a restaurant up there and we have free range of the property so we can go up there and sit or do whatever. Somebody else is just storing their RV here. And then there's some woods back here. Mom will go explore and collect firewood. And then there's a tow business behind us. So we don't really have any neighbors. Occasionally there's people around, but we got a lot of freedom here. My TV's my best friend. Yeah, and the fire. Because <laughs> yeah. you're always out here in the fire. Like, look at mom's stick collection. I got that today. <laughs> you did good. So while I'm at work, mom's out collecting sticks. There's plenty of wood. Oh, what's this? What's That's that? My oh, what's that? My kindling. Oh. My poor kitty cat has been home for almost 11 hours by herself. Hi, see ya. Hello, pumpkin. She likes to come roll on the steps. Okay, so it's dark in here just because I had the window closed. But when I come in here, I've got a switch over here. And the way I have it set up is it actually turns my lights on and it, I've got all of these turned on so it kind of lights up the whole living room uh, so I kind of leave the door open a minute let's say get some fresh air and her litter box is under here so first thing I do is I scoop it I can't stand for poop to be in there and I keep my vacuum cleaner over here so I always clean Ooh wee it's cold in here I'm gonna turn the heat up do that Pick up what Saya has knocked off off the counter because she always knocks something off. And now we gonna scoop the poops. Oh yeah. This is by far the best litter box I have ever had. Like all the pee goes through there. Let's see if I can show you. And then it goes to this at the bottom. So no pee smell, it all soaks into this mat. And then I just change that every maybe like four to five days. Um, but that's that's the best litter box setup I've ever had. No like ammonia smell, no crazy cat litter smell. Say it. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? She's a big sissy, but I'll let her explore a little bit. If any of you want to try this litter box out, I will put a link in the description below. Um, to the litter box, the pads that I get because they're heavily discounted when you buy them in bulk, and then the pellets that I use. You don't have to use the brand name, um, but it helps me out if you click my link, so I'll put that in there. Okay, so litter box is changed, and I just throw the bag of poops out there, and I'll take it off later. Um, I have vacuumed any little pellets I'm, I like the floor to be clean so next thing I'm gonna do is turn the heat up because it got cold in here with the door open so my um, furnace control center is up there that's where my air conditioner is also so let me bump it up to 73 so it'll kick on there it goes so now it's kicking on 
Let me turn it back down. I'm about to cook in here, so that's going to warm it up too. Um, the furnace is actually under the refrigerator. Uh, and that'll get it going pretty good. I have floor heat. So the, phone, the furnace runs through the floor, and there's another one in there. Now, in the summer, when I'm running my air conditioner, it's actually through the ceiling, through these vents. So every camper is different. My camper is a little older, but everything works well. Um, you want some food? I normally take care of Saya right away. I, I give her fresh water. Um, she's a little spoiled, so she gets a mix of dry food and then canned food. Um, she was really sick when she was little, so the vet recommended this food here, and it has been so good for her. So I keep her dry food up here. This is dried Purina Pro Plan. Um, it actually smells really good. Like if I had to eat it, I wouldn't be terribly upset. So she gets some dry food and then I get her like just different variety of canned. You want some food? Come on, honey. Yeah, she's a good girl. Okay. I didn't really like this cannoli, so I'm probably going to take that to work and give it away. Plus, I'm not a big sweets fan. Give her some fresh water. I do clean her water bowl every few days. But right now, we're just going to fill it up. Very excited for dinner. I'm actually going to cook one of my favorite meals of all time. And y'all are going to think that I'm nasty probably. But it's chicken gizzard. I don't actually eat the whole thing. I, I get like four packs. And then I cut the good meat out of there and discard like the, I don't even know what you call it, the rough stuff. I actually go feed the possums. <laughs> Chicken gizzards are actually really healthy for you. Um, packed full of vitamins and minerals and B12, I believe. Okay, say as food's put up. Chicken gizzards are out. Say it has been fed. I'm still in my work clothes, so now what I'm going to go do is shower because my feet stink. <laughs> I work in a warehouse, so when you wear work shoes for 10 hours a day, yeah, I try to keep them smelling good, but it just is what it is. It is what it is. I lied. I'm actually going to clean the sink. Um, <laughs> I like to just get all the cleaning done so that I can relax when I get out of the shower. I like to turn the TV on just to make me feel more comfortable. It makes me feel not alone, I guess. Like, it's just a comfort to have the TV going in the background, and I normally do watch YouTube. All right, I want to show you guys my favorite YouTube people. This is my favorite band of all time. I just saw them live in Atlanta. This was my first YouTube channel love. Like, that's what inspired me to get going. Don't look at that. That's for my niece. That's, don't do that. Um, I love Tyler and Todd. I love Mav. I love Hannah. Sorry you guys are together, but you're not. Uh, trip in a van, AO fishing. I also like um, Anna Uncharted, um, Jonathan Yinch. So feel free to look any of those up. But right now I'm going to put uh, this on Mav and just run it. I've seen every episode, but we're just going to run it because i love his channel very inspiring now hi plankin maybe i'll go shower this is mama's baby hello sweetie she's my best friend but watch if i pick her up she freaks out she did pretty good she's like she doesn't like to be touched. <laughs> I guess like some people, my sister's like that. But I know she loves me. She shows me affection. While I'm here, let me show you guys something. Once again, I went to see my favorite band. Um, it's called The Plot in You. And then these guys were amazing. The music is a little bit heavier. A lot of you guys probably won't understand why I like this kind of music. That's okay. We're all made differently and I think that's wonderful. Saya, what do you think? 
do you like their music? Because she has to put up with it when I have my Bluetooth speaker on. Um, this was so much fun. Avoid is so good. Favorite band. They're good. They're good. I got them to sign. So happy. This brings me so much happiness. Just coming into my bedroom. Don't judge my bed. These are all clean clothes I have to put up. Um, just kind of show you my bedroom a little bit. So there's back into the living room. I don't know why I'm giving y'all a tour like you haven't seen this before. <laughs> and then into the bedroom. This is my shower. I know it's messy. It's just how it is right now. Sometimes things get messy. It's called life. We don't judge anybody on this channel. There's no judgment here. We love everybody, don't we, Saya? We love everybody. You guys are all awesome. I have really long hair, and it has gotten so tangled from work today. <laughs> like, oh, I just had to brush it out. And then I brush it out, and it gets super poofy. So, I like to put my hair on top of my head in like a... Like a clip. Where is it at? Oh no. Here it is. These. So for all you ladies out there, these are awesome. I'm just showing y'all everything. This is kind of a weird video, but I did a poll because I want to make you guys happy, but I also want to do what I love. Okay. I know that's wild, but I can take a shower and wash my face and nothing be in my way. This is my shower. Sometimes my water pressure is not good. It it comes and goes, I don't know. So I'm gonna turn it on. Right now my water pressure is pretty good. So that's what it looks like. It's not the best. It's definitely like not house water pressure, but it works for now. It's just a sacrifice. Yes, this is yellow. This is what happens to old plastic, but it's clean. That's the best cleaner in the world ever, ever, ever. I will also link that um, in my description. If you want to go buy it through my link, it helps me out. And I would appreciate it. So, it's just so cozy in here. I know this isn't everybody's style, but I'm an artist, so I've got art stuff laying out everywhere all through here um it, it works for me once again we don't don't judge anybody like everybody lives differently one of the things that makes us humans so beautiful is we're not all the same you know like what i like is gonna be different from what you like um everybody just be nice to each other i'm super sensitive so if somebody's mean to me or like, I get a bad comment or anything. It just affects me so badly. Like, that, it, it stays with me. <laughs> I try not to let stuff bother me, but it does. I'm going to hop in the shower, and when I get out, um, we're going to make some chicken gizzards. Okay, y'all. Don't make fun of me, but <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're going on a mission because let me show you what I'm trying to make here. I have this tripod and I don't have the little thing that holds your phone anymore. So I'm trying to rig something up so that I can show you guys how I cook. So I have an idea. Let me turn my headlamp on. Yes, it's like 40 degrees out here. Yes, I'm going out here barefooted in, in my nightgown. Come with me. I have some screws and nuts and bolts in storage here. Looking for a certain size nut. And of course, I don't have the right one. You would, go figure. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if this works. Oh, please fit. Looky there, it works. Now I just need a washer. Okay, let's find a, here we go. Cool. All right. This is the shenanigans that go on. Cold. It's good for the body. Whew. Hey, friend. Okay. All right. So, 
I have an idea. All right. I will come back when I got this finished. Let me show y'all what I made. <laughs> I had this tripod. I needed a way to hold my phone. So I got a hinge because I had a box of hinges. And I found a nut that fits the screw up here. And then I got zip ties. So this can swivel if you need to turn the phone up or down. And then you just slip the phone right into these zip ties and it holds it perfectly. So now I have a swivel mount for my phone to record with. <laughs> Okay, let me show you guys in the mirror. Can you see? Yeah, see? See what I made? All right, so here's a pack of chicken gizzards. That's what they look like. I got my fillet knife that I got when I went fishing in Florida. Make sure your fillet knife is very sharp. So we're gonna sharpen this. I'd say that's pretty sharp. All right, so I have my bag for like the scraps that I go feed the animals. This is for the good meat that I cut out and here's my chicken gizzards. You pull them out. That's kind of what they look like. There's like a fat meaty part normally in the middle. Um, so I always just slice that in half. Once you slice in half, that's your meat. And you're probably thinking like you're going to go to all that work for that little bit of meat. Yes, I am. It's so good. The way I do it, I just fillet it out of there. And there it is. That's a little one, but perfect. And I cut off any white areas that you don't want to eat that are normally like tendons or fat. See, this one had like a lot of extra stuff. So I just cut all that off because I'm not going to eat. I'm really picky about the meat. I don't like to eat the tendons. So there's my good piece of meat. That's kind of what they look like. Somebody's already cut that one. Sometimes they'll have like little veins on them and you just get get all that stuff off that you don't want to eat. Okay, there's that one. That's a nice hunk of meat. So once you have a bowl full, it makes for a really good meal. After three packs, this is what I ended up with. This is the meat that I cut out um, of all that stuff. So you can grill it just like this or you can batter it and deep fry it. Uh, and then I always cook in my cast iron skillet here with some olive oil. So cook it however you want. Um, I'm actually going to put some egg and flour on this and fry it up. I know flour is not really good for dieting, but the way I've been eating lately and eating so healthy, like it doesn't hurt my my progress typically at all. So it's kind of one of the little things I do every once in a while to treat myself. I know it's kind of dangerous to leave this all going, but I am going to walk to the dumpster. It's not far at all. It's just right beside my house. So let's do that. I normally take my headlamp with me. I got to go put these um, chicken gizzards out for the animals. Okay. Woohoo! It's cold. Oh, let me get my jacket out of the car. That's the chicken gizzard scraps. I know it looks nasty, but the animals will enjoy that. And then there's the dumpster. 
All right, we did it. Let's walk back. Ooh, it's so cold. It's got to be like down to 30. We have these motion sensor lights that I got for mine and mom's area and they work really good. They just come on and they work great. So I'll link those also in my description. Um, they weren't very expensive at all, but if you guys want to check them out, you can. Ah. Hey, sweet baby girl. That's what the lock looks like on a camper. Okay. While those are cooking, I am going to wash dishes. I don't let dishes sit in my sink. I just want to wash them and get them over with. So, I'm going to wash this stuff and then I'll catch you guys back. Food is done. I'm sleepy. TV's off. I'm going to make sure my heat is set to where I want it. So, that's good. Let me cut the main lights off in the living room. Door is locked. Okay. Um, I'll come back and clean this. So I've got my food there, my kitty cat. I'm going to go sit on my bed and play on my computer. Let's feed the fish. I've had this snow for several years. And then these are three female beta. That blue light is supposed to mimic the moon for them, so I cut that on every night so they can sleep. Okay, I have climbed into my bed and I got my food, my drink. I eat a lot of ketchup. <laughs> Don't judge me. And say likes. Say likes it when we get ready to go to bed. All right. Normally when I'm in my bedroom, I use my computer or I have an iPad over there um, for kind of like a TV or I'll use my phone to watch anime or movies while I edit on here. But I'm going to eat and work on some footage. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's just like a chicken nugget. <laughs> Um, and I dip mine in ketchup and mayonnaise, and then I normally take my leftovers to work. So that's my routine um, when I'm working. And then I'll do another video maybe like when I'm not working. Um, so I'll get up about 5 to go to work. I go to bed about 8.30, Um So I work four days on and then four days off. So quite a bit of difference there. But I just kind of wanted to show you guys what it's like to live in a camper with a normal work day. So thank you all for watching. Check out my Amazon links in the bottom if you're interested in any of that stuff. So we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, I was gonna go to bed, but mom came over. She needed some help with her phone and I've been editing and say is not a big fan of any strangers. So that's what's the going on. just left. And my cat brought me her favorite toys. She loves these uh, off of like milk jugs. We call them power rings. But she fetches. So I'll show you. Alright. And she'll bring it back. And then we'll do this for like 30 minutes. And then I go to bed.